hello everyone i hope you all are doing good and in today's video uh, we are going to discuss that how to start your career in software testing so recently like i'm getting a lot of queries that uh, sir i have just started my career or i am in like final year btech and i'm not able to find jobs and tell me like how to like where should i start and how to approach so in this video like uh, i'm going to tell you that what all um, bare minimum you should know to get a job in software testing and uh, just like uh, i'm not saying this is the most easiest past part to get a job in testing but still as compared to development uh, in there like you have to struggle with coding and everything it is relatively easy to get a job here okay so as you all know like there are two kind of students in um, let's say i'm assuming you are in currently second year or third year or fourth year so this is for those guys who are still in college so when you are still in college so uh there are two kind of guys who knows what they want to do like uh, they are pretty much positive and clear and second one are uh, those who just focus on their like uh, btech syllabus or bca mca syllabus and uh, do nothing else okay so this video is more towards the second kind of guys who like after completing their graduation are clueless what to do and uh, like how to get a job so the motive of uh, me creating this video is uh, how like what are the bare minimums you should do to get a job okay so if you fall in this category then i am going to tell you a at least 3 month plan so you have like you have to follow this for 3 month and if you have graduated then you can complete it in 1 month also so that totally depends on you how many hours you can devote and after that like after this i can guarantee you that uh, you can get a job okay so you don't have to like run from here to there and like if you fall in this category then your first preference your first preference should be get a job like study to go get a job although i don't uh, like uh, recommend this approach but still like if you don't have a job then nothing else uh, will work out for you okay so the uh, first thing for you is to get a job the second thing after getting a job probably 1 to 2 year then you can think of uh, switching to automation and in the meantime like uh, get well versed with manual testing and uh, how things work in an office culture and uh, like get used to the office culture after that uh, you can like switch to automation and think about package so here like don't even bother to think about package okay so i am writing no package so your main aim is to get a job okay and how we are going to do it uh, that's i am going to discuss okay so when to start i have already told you uh, told you that in uh, like if you are in third or fourth year you can start thinking about uh, making a career in software testing and there is a subject in third year at least in uh, uptu uh, software engineering i guess i don't uh, software engineering is a subject uh, in third year in that uh, like all the this is for btech all the mca and bca guys uh, like um, you go through your syllabus and find out that if there is any um, like uh, dedicated subject for you on this but at least in uh, like btech uh, so there is a subject software engineering so in this uh, you will get to know sdlc and uh, software testing life cycle bug life cycle and different kind of models like software stlc models so it will help you so if you want to make your career in software testing then i request you to like focus more on this subject like focus on this subject okay after that like targeted audience is same third year fourth year or after this i am writing plus 1 means uh, who are jobless for one year or two years 
or maximum like you can go for three years so if you are jobless for three years and maybe you are preparing for some other exams or anything else just for any case like you have backlogs in your uh, btech and you are not able to get the degree on time and uh, you are like right now is 2022 so if you are also 2019 pass out then also like i'll suggest you uh, to at least uh, go through the syllabus and see if you can uh, like if you are able to do it and if you follow rightly and uh, follow each and every step i'm damn sure like even for 15 or 20 thousand per month but you will get a job okay there is no scarcity of job just just in scarcity of good people okay so like these are my target audiences now once you have made up your mind that okay i want to make my career in software testing then comes uh, syllabus just like uh, when you start your semester so you go through your syllabus now like most of the guys like uh, hard working guys at least go through the syllabus and uh, like there are five units so they just look at and see like what all units they need to cover to at least uh, like get the passing marks that how like we used to do in our college days so like there are some easy units and there are some like the later units are generally hard units okay so mostly the first uh, units are introductory one so similarly uh, in manual testing also there are some part which you have already covered and uh, this is introductory so when you are going for an interview and uh, telling that okay like uh, uh, these all things i know so this is going to help you okay so my focus is minimum efforts and maximum output okay and uh, that is uh, we are going to see how like what is the syllabus so let me like cover the syllabus first after that uh, we are going to cover the third and every other point okay so this this is the like very minimum so if you have like prepared well and are planning to go for interview just go through this topic and see if you are able to answer it or if you are like planning to learn testing then i suggest you to like uh, follow this approach so i have like uh, made this syllabus and uh, when i take when i take the interviews so these are the topics which i see in a candidate so this is uh, for freshers okay keep in mind this is for fresher by fresher i mean 0 to 1 years of experience this is also applicable for guys who have one or maybe two years of experience with low package okay so firstly you should know you should know that what is uh, testing and uh, types of testing okay if you are going to like uh, learn a subject then you should know what is it and the types of it okay so this is and with this i'm also going to write down how many how much time is uh, going to be needed okay so this you can probably one to two days okay one to two days you can look into testing by testing i don't mean like you go for the definition one but generally understand like why is testing required in the first place okay and like can we ship a product without testing yes we can ship a product without testing but later when the end users is going to complain that's why like testing is necessary and right from a startup to google okay every organization in between use testing and it's a misconception that uh, testers are paid low or for every two developer there are one tester so these are all just myths i have seen some projects in that like for two developers there are four testers okay so that depends uh, what kind of project it is how much testing is needed and everything so let's not uh, get into that but i'm telling you uh, that software testing is a good career and uh, you can like again if you can just uh, go with development at in your third or fourth year i'll not recommend you to take up uh, like full fledged software testing as a career just explore out and after like exploring if you think that okay no uh, like i want to move to automation like uh, testing then in that uh, like you can go with the automation testing so uh, like sret is no less than an 
an S date is like equivalent to an SDE. Okay, just search for the uh, like packages in Amazon, and you will get an idea that uh, these are kind of equivalent roles. The an S date is uh, required to be on the same page as an SDE. Okay, just a little bit less, but again, the packages and everything is kind of similar. So, wh why I'm telling you this is just because that you should understand like why do we need testing in the first place okay and uh, like spend one to two days on that and uh, just go through everything after that comes the uh, software development lifecycle model sdlc okay and uh, with this models also so the third year guy would have like read it in their btech but uh, again like uh, go through is uh, go through it so there are like six stages of SDLC. So what most of the guys do, they just simply cram up the six stages and um, wrote it down in their answer sheets and get passing marks. But that's not how like the real world goes. So you have to understand what each and every stage do. So not just uh, cramming, you have to understand what is it and how is it going to be helpful for us okay after that once you have like read about the stages and how and why each and every stage work after that uh, like go through the models the first one is the waterfall model okay so why it was rejected and then v model then why we went to agile okay so with this you are going to relate agile okay and in agile what is scrum and everything although for in fresher i will not recommend you to like read it but again if you if you can read it and if you have the knowledge it's always like you will get an upper hand in interviews okay so if the interviewer asks have you read about agile and you are able to answer that means like you have put in efforts and that is going to uh, differentiate you from rest of the candidates okay so read sdlc models and then comes uh, software testing life cycle this is very much important for a tester okay and uh, later on i'll tell you my like i'll show you my sdlc code um, notes how like uh, i used to prepare back when i was a manual tester like even now even if you are an automation engineer okay then also you should know what is uh, sdlc and uh, i'll recommend you to make handmade notes uh, okay, you go to a website, there are a couple of website uh, or YouTube videos, um, they are going to explain you what is software testing lifecycle or probably in future I can make a video on the same and uh, from there you just understand like what is it, what are the different stages are doing and okay again like term, uh, terms and conditions are that don't just read uh, the topics understand them okay that is very much necessary because if you not understand it then there is no point if like the interviewer going to cross question you then you are not going to answer and that will not be a good okay so whatever the topics i'm telling you these are the basic very minimum and answering them may not land up um, you in getting a job but not answering them i'm damn sure like he's going to throw you out okay so this is an like an bare minimum qualification uh, to at least sit in the um, uh, software testing interviews okay and this will take around uh, how much uh, for a fresher i guess uh, one week so one week is more than enough to like understand and read all through this just like um, i want you to spend some time and think okay open your mind and think why is it necessary and after this just connect it to agile and just read something about agile why is it necessary and why like 99 percent of the not 99 but 95 percent of the organization follow agile okay so what was that in waterfall model which we overcome through v model and there are a couple of models spiral model also and why do we follow agile okay so after that okay so this is the first stage next you have to understand the uh, software testing types and levels okay 
so there are couple of terms which you should be well versed with and one of them is regression versus retesting okay they sounds very they sound very similar but uh, they are different and just at least have uh, five points on tips that what are the difference between them and as a fresher like me as an interviewer don't want like uh, i don't expect you to be uh, like 100% true but at least uh, like understand okay uh, when do we need regression and when do we do retesting okay so that much answer is enough for me or for most of the interviewers so just read and uh, all the five at least like have uh, five differences and uh, you can like if i'm going to ask you then within 30 40 seconds you should be able to answer that what is the difference between them and uh, when do we need them okay the same goes with uh, smoke and sanity testing just uh, note down the difference and understand like when do we uh, need smoke testing and when do we need sanity testing again when uh, you will uh, read about uh, software testing life cycle in that the different stages you will get to understand that how we as a software tester uh, like get the product and when do we test it how do we log it and in the same process like go through the same iteration once and after that you can go back to stlc okay and see how try to interconnect smoke testing in that okay in which stage do we do smoke testing and in which stage do we do sanity and if they are on the same stage then what's the difference between them okay just try to relate it uh, with the software testing life cycle okay then uh, alpha and beta testing stress and performance testing again same goes with stress and performance like at this as at fresher level uh, i don't expect you to be worked on like uh, more about stress and performance but at least you should know the theoretical difference between them and uh, you should be again these are very uh, say, uh, like uh, similar sounding terms but there is a difference between them so just go through it have like three to five points and you are good to go okay now come to the levels of uh, unit like levels of uh, software okay now unit testing so if you if you read about unit testing then you should ask like who do unit testing okay so most of the time developers do it while writing the code okay so if the interviewer asks you that uh, who does uh, unit testing so you should clearly state that uh, developers like uh, do that okay but why then why should we read about it we read about it because the unit testing like uh, if we have three unit uh, test case then in the later stages uh, we have to do the integration testing okay so that is how it is related and we should read about it and understand that how it works then come system testing then acceptance testing at what stage okay at of stlc so just go through it and at least give it three iteration okay when i say three iteration in the first iteration okay just uh, whatever the and uh, okay let me first complete it then i am going to tell you about how you should like revise it because what used to happen with me that okay if i am done with verification if i am done here i forgot what uh, what was sdlc models and everything so it happens and if it, if it is happening with you it is pretty normal so how like how to overcome it is by revision okay and uh, so first let me complete and then i'm going to tell you that uh, what is the approach for you to revise it then this is very hot question again answering this may not select you but not answering it is definitely going to reject you okay so if a candidate is not able to tell me that the difference between verification and validation it just piss me off and uh, like there is a very high chance that you are not going to be um, selected for the next round okay so again i am repeating that this is the bare minimum which you should be like aware of and then you are good to go okay so if there is some question that that is little edge case or maybe you are not able to answer it that then it's probably okay but if you have read it then please answer it correctly and uh, go through at least from uh, two to three sources okay 
because there are because nowadays there is lot of misinformation available on the net and i suggest you to at least uh, go with uh, two to three sources okay for everything okay now comes uh, the main part uh, that uh, how you are going to plan your test cases and how to write the test cases and uh, this is not applicable for the freshers uh, but still they can ask you to write the, uh, write the test cases on pen okay of black color just uh, write down five test cases which all things you, uh, you need to cover in that similarly lift these are these are very very common ones and you can uh, find the test cases easily over net okay okay so just uh, go uh, go through them and uh, just uh, see the differences between test suit test plan and test case after that uh, bug life cycle another very 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 important topic because uh, once you like start working in a organization then obviously you are going to raise bug okay and how you are going to raise it what is the life cycle when you are going to retest it when you have to do the regression so everything is interconnected right so once you read about it then you are going to understand that uh, what is regression and retesting in a, from a different perspective okay then how you are going to sign off what are the test in closure like that this is closure activities right so when are you going to sign off your build okay so for this another one week i'll suggest you software testing types and level okay and like just 2 to 3 hr per day this is very well like you can cover it okay and this one will take you one day then spend at least 3 uh, days to one week sorry for my handwriting uh, on this fifth point then bug life cycle one day and uh, probably 3 days on this okay so in total like uh, within 1 to 2 months you will be ready interview ready okay and you have to spend at least 2 uh, to 3 hours daily on this and you are good to go okay after this like uh, how to revise this is pretty important so let me take a different pen that uh, first just uh, cover the syllabus okay in the second iteration try to make notes okay and uh, like make your own notes don't copy them from the net make your own okay so what is the benefit of making notes that in third iteration um, it will take you at least like probably one day to revise everything okay so if after revision you are able to recite it everything on two pages okay whatever you have learned then i am 100% sure that you are going to get the job okay just these whatever i have told you okay and again i am telling this is the bare minimum guys um, if you find any topic uh, there are couple of uh, like pdfs also available and probably i can also provide you those pdf uh, or like i can make a telegram group just uh, look into the description box uh, i will provide you that uh, pdf from which i was uh, like i used to prepare and maybe and if you need my notes so i just for an sake i have like this stlc notes where is my marker yeah let me take a black pen okay so you have to like understand these stages like what is requirement analysis okay and how i made the notes is that uh, like uh, who is going to do the requirement analysis then the whole team is uh, like uh, doing that and just couple of points that uh, like in that uh, what is the output of requirement analysis is the required uh, traceability matrix plus automation feasibility report okay 
now coming to the next part uh, next stage test planning so generally like manager and tls uh, used to do it and uh, like whatever the cost and everything resources they are need to allocate uh, to the team so that is them now coming to the test case development so i'm not sure whether you will be like as a fresher included in this but like if you have 2 years of experience then uh, these guys plus your team lead is uh, like are going to work on the test case development and how the test cases are going to work is that uh, like your ba is going to approve them and uh, so that uh, writing test cases means that uh, whatever you have understood understood from the project you have you are going to write it down and uh, probably in that in this stage you are going to uh, prepare the test data so what is the outcome if i if if an interviewer says that okay who does the test case development so you are in a position to tell you that okay um, like most of the guys um, can like a uh, test case development so that depends from project to project that uh, whether your manager approves uh, of you like as a fresher in the test case development but generally they do so that's why like um, that's how that's the work of manager to divide the work okay and after that uh, like what is the output of this uh, this stage so in after this stage your test cases should be ready means signed off and your test uh, test uh, test data is ready and if you are making an automation script so that uh, scripts should be ready okay this skeleton i mean now environmental setup so everyone knows environment setup but what all steps we need to do in environment setup just look for software hardware and everything similarly like i'm giving an, an idea like how to make notes and uh, uh, so that's it guys okay now the text execution how much time will be required so everything will be there and what is the output of text execution stage so every test case should be updated with result and uh, complete re uh, requirement traceability matrix plus defect report whatever the defects you have and when are when are you going to close like sign off okay so cycle completion time test coverage cost software so these are the things so like as an interviewer i expect a fresher to know at least like uh, the basics of this and uh, that's it because again i'm repeating guys everyone knows these stages how you are going to differentiate yourself from the rest of the guys okay this is the way that uh, if someone ask you like in which stage are we are the test case development uh, going so this stage like in the third stage uh, the test case development are made here okay where it is executed in the test execution like the fifth stage okay although like uh, when you get into your job you will see that um, sometimes we don't exactly follow this but still like on theoretical you should be well versed with this so like i have similar kind of notes available with me with me so if you are interested and if you are like just let me know just comment down below and let me know that uh, whether you need these notes and probably i can like share it over telegram okay uff so let me have some water and yep so in third stage no this is not a stage but once you are done with the second point okay you have looked in your like syllabus you have revised it three times and you are in a position to whatever you have learned to write it down in two pages okay so once you are done with this stage then i'll suggest you to go for um, certification so there is an 10 hour course available on udemy that i'm going to comment down below you can look it into that so that's a 10 hour course and probably in two weeks you can complete it and within a month you can clear the istqb certification and i am highly recommended to guys who are in fourth year and who wants to join this software testing as a career to be istqb certified so as an interviewer when i get 10 applications and uh, when i see like two of them istqb certified that means that okay so istqb also like 50% of the syllabus is overlapping with this the software like levels types and 
as dlc models and everything so like it will be very easy for you and i have made a dedicated video on this istqb certification and uh, just look into the description box or probably the i button which is coming right now so just click on it and see how you can prepare for the certification of istqb and again like once you are done with all this then you have to look for job you have to apply for it okay so again like uh, i have uh, like made a dedicated video and how to look for a job probably how to approach strangers on linkedin and uh, like nokri.com okay so see it guys once you make your resume and you mention it that you are stqb certified so many of the guys are able to like recommend you okay so that's what certification does to you and like if you are below 2 years of experience then it is highly recommended and it is going to separate you from the rest of the guys okay and if you are more than 2 years then there is a different syllabus for you and uh, by different syllabus i mean you start once you are done with all this just brush up your manual and uh, look more into the automation part okay just start looking into the automation and by automation i mean writing down scripts in the existing framework just look for the xpath how it works and everything and um, very soon i'm going to come up uh, with an automation video also so that will be very basic and uh, like if you are only done with manual testing then i'm sure uh, you will be able to understand that so that is coming pretty soon so that's it guys i hope uh, i was able to clear your queries regarding how how as a fresher or probably as an like btech graduate uh, you can look out for uh, manual testing jobs and what you need to prepare in it and still like uh, if you have any doubt just comment down below and i'll be happy to help you and if uh, you found this video helpful just uh, like like this video and subscribe to my channel that way i can know that uh, you guys are uh, liking it and uh, yep that's it guys um, hope you have a nice day bye